Up until now, we haven't really chosen any layer for the elements that we are doing. And the reason is because you don't really need to. ArchiCAD will put the objects on the layers that it thinks it belongs to. So for example, when we add those furniture, ArchiCAD already put this furniture into the interior furniture layer. If we click here on the grid, you will see here on the top that we are using the structural grid layer. Same goes for the zones. So ArchiCAD has some standard layers for the elements. So if you don't want them to be on those layers, all you have to do when you're adding an element is go to the settings. And here at the bottom, you're gonna find the layer that this element is gonna be. So you can click here and choose a different layer. The same goes when you're adding a wall. If I go here, Control T or Command T, right at the bottom is the layer where this wall is. So let's take a look on the layers and to do that, I'm going to use the shortcut Command L or Control L if you're on a PC. And here on the layer settings, we have on the right, every layer that we have and on the left, some layer combinations. So on the layers here on the right, we can lock one layer so it don't change anything on it or unlock. We can also hide or unhide a layer and we can make this layer a wireframe in 3D or not. You can also change the group of the layer. We're going to look at this in a little bit. And of course, you can change the name and the extension of the layer, which is all empty right now. You can use the new button here to create a new layer. So I'm going to create a structural beams, for instance. Press OK. Now we have this layer at the bottom. You can also delete one layer. If you want to, you can move all the elements that you have on that layer to another layer. In this case, we don't have any elements, so I'm just gonna delete everything that is inside and press delete. You can also use those tools to select everything, hide everything, unhide everything, lock and unlock and so on. So on the left here, we have some layer combinations, which is combinations of locked and what is hidden and unhidden. So if I click here on plans preliminary, I can choose some of the layers to be on and off. But if I'm doing a rendering, I can have other layers on, other layers off. So basically is a way to organize what you want to see on different stages of the project. So for instance, let's go here to drafting and press OK. And if I go here on the plan, I'm gonna use the quick options here to change the layer combination. So I'm gonna go from drafting to rendering. And you're going to notice that all the two elements now are hidden because I don't really need them when I'm doing rendering. And if I go back here to drafting, they come back again. So to change that layer combination, you go to the layer settings. So you can use the shortcut Control L or Command L if you're in a Mac. Or you can go here on Document, Layers, Layer Settings. So if you want to change something here, let's say on the rendering, I want to turn off all the zones. So I'm going to look here for the layer for the zones, which is model unit zones. And I can see that on this layer combination, this zone is on. So I'm going to click here on the eye and now I can go and update this layer combination. So if I press OK now on the rendering, I no longer have the zones. But if I go back to drafting, I have everything back together. Finally, I want to show you what the layer groups are, which is this column here on the layer combination. So let's say I'm going to cancel here. Let's say I'm modeling a wardrobe for this cupboard here. And I don't want to use an object from ArchiCAD. I actually want to model using walls and slabs. So I'm going to create a wall here. Let's go to the settings of this wall. Let's make it thinner, 20 millimeters, and let's change it to timber for the roof. No, let's look for plywood. There we go. Press OK. So adding this wall here, you will notice that the wall for the wardrobe is intersecting with the wall of the kitchen, which is not really what I want. So what I can do is put this wall on the layer interior furniture. And on the layer combination here, I want the interior furniture group to be a different number. So let's say I'm going to change it to two. So now the elements that are on this layer will only interact with layers that also have the number two here. So we need to update that to drafting. So I'm going to update it here, press OK. And now this wall is no longer interacting with that wall. 
So if we go back here, for instance, to the rendering combination, the wall is interactive again. And if I go to drafting, it's fixed. So remember, if you want this to be the case on every layer combination, you have to change the number two for this interior furniture on every layer combination. So go ahead and use this layer combination into your favor. In my project, this layer combination list goes on and on. It's quite normal to create a lot of layer combinations, one to every situation you have in your project. So anytime, press new, go ahead, create a new layer, name it, and use it.